Yo guys, what is up? It is Khan here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are actually going to be going over, and I've already watched this video, uh, but I watched it about, like, really early in the morning, like 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning last night. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about, so I thought, you know, I'm just going to go through it bit by bit and talk to you guys about each little bit that I want to point out. So, without further ado, let us get right into this. So, today so with obviously, Mark and Lyman, we're probably going to go through the whole thing, by the way, so that's going to be a really long video. So these are some uh, two guys from Visual Concepts. Team, uh, so we'll just turn it down a bit, because Chris Denk is likely to copyright strike this video. So thank you guys we'll try to anyway. Me today. I know you guys got a lot on your plate at the moment, but uh, I appreciate you taking this time. Try to keep this as short and sweet. Uh, it's been a little different than in previous right. years. So here's so, uh, how he starts. Right into it. You guys talks are, about are the ready. build up to the game. Let's do it. So, uh, the lead up to this game's release has been a little different than in previous years. You bet uh, it's been a little seen, different. People are a little concerned about kind of the I made a of video about how they were only focusing on the soundtracks, which is just stupid. Or uh, today the gameplay trailer did drop, uh, but still no word on roster reveal, not too much info on other modes. Can you guys kind of talk about uh, the reasoning behind some of the secrecy this year, if you will. We're, you know, we just, we're a secret team, not playing. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, like 2K19, you saw like that 2K dev guy just kind of like, yeah, that dude just was, was, was real busy, man. Like he was just like kind of MIA. Uh, same thing this year, like, you know, with everything that we're trying to do, uh, uh, especially this year with us, you know, taking it on um, completely. We've been really busy, um, and so you know all those things that you know I used to uh, have the liberty to do and, and and post cool things that I saw on a daily basis, uh, and cut those videos personally, and all those things, and I had to take a back seat to you know uh, to to make sure that we're putting our efforts uh, into making sure that we give you guys the best game we can. Sure. All right. Um, but okay. Um. So pretty much saying that. The excuse for the, the terrible build-up is so that they can make the best game that they possibly can. <sighs> okay, let's move on. If you look at it, like, you, you know, we're really only two weeks off of uh, where we were at last year. We hit you guys with your boy, Xavier Woods, you know. <laughs> I saw those dance moves you had with it, Xavier Ooh, Woods, man. I don't know. I was I like, don't know. oh, I don't wow. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm kidding. Skills. I was like, oh, surprise. Uh, so, you know, we, he led that uh, that charge for us uh, with a lot of info. So, what, so pretty much just saying that they had no one to do it. That's a lie. Uh, so we can, you know, continue to do our jobs and, and try to make this as sweet as possible. All right. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, so, over the years in wrestling games, uh, there have been a lot of really, really cool modes and features Here that have been removed and haven't really found their way back into the current game. You guys probably know where I'm going with this. The one that fans, <laughs> GM mode. including hmm. myself, have There's no excuse. requested the most is a mode called GM mode. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Uh, with no sign of it being included this year, why has that been kind of overlooked for the last number of years? Yeah, I don't know that it's overlooked. I mean, obviously, there's no way we're not hearing you guys, and we do listen to you guys. I think that, I think we've shown yes, that it's not years. overlooked. You know, it, a lot of it has to do with just fitting in with what we're trying to get done. And so, like this year, we really, really wanted to build out the female my career, the female my player. That's another thing that people, since we introduced my career, they're like, why isn't there a female my player? Like you introduced my career in WWE 2K15. And we'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt. So from 2K14, they've you know there's been people asking for GM mode. You know since what SmackDown vs. 2009 or something, people have been asking for it to come back. But from 2K, so 2K14, I guess. But you introduced my career in 2K15, and I do yes. People were saying, "Where is a female my career?" That's fine. It makes sense. But you can't use that as an excuse because it's 2K20 and they've only just put the female my career in. And I guarantee you, more people are worried about GMO, more actual fans. Obviously, it's just because of all this women's evolution, equality, bull. Sorry, but it is. It's not equality anymore. It's just put women above men. Like, look at Miss Monopoly, for an example. Well, we're not here to debate about that. Um, I just hit the mic. All I'm saying is that 
that's a, that's just a big lie. You can't be like, oh yeah, we folk because that's another thing. Well, since two K fifteen, yeah. I can't do this with women, and so you know, with the theme of this year being so much into the women's revolution, you know, having Becky on the cover, mm. we really that was where we put a lot of our energy and focus for this coming year. And I mean, obviously, a lot of that is a direct result of listening to the fans and understanding what you guys are wanting to hear. So. You know, we hear you guys loud and clear, and don't think we're not listening, because we are. <laughs> don't think we're not listening, because we are. Okay, where's GM mode? Uh, with that being said, is it something that is kind of on your list for possibly future installments? Absolutely. You know, I, I think that there, there's that and a few other things that we hear clearly that people would like to see come back or be rethought in the future. As to, And I think that's one of the things that Lionel and I like to try and do, is it's like, we don't just want to bring something back the way it was. We, we want to think about how we should build it now because times have changed and right. what, what, what can we do that's better and more innovative and more exciting. Right. And we don't want to bring back something the way it was. We want to bring it back in our own way. It's pretty much what was just said. Okay, if you want to make things your own way, um, the what the hell was off with 2K16 and 17's My Career Modes? What was off with um, Universe Mode every year? Um, what's off with bringing back uh, another big thing you guys want to talk about is the lobbies in Online Mode. That's the exact same as it was from other years. That's a terrible excuse. Nice try, but no. Um, and I think I can speak for everyone here. We'll be happy if you brought GM Mode back exactly how it was. Except obviously just updated roster. Well, yeah just the, the same mechanism, the same way it all works. So, terrible excuse. And so, you know, I think that that's part of, now that the game is being developed by our own visual concepts team, we'll have a lot of liberties as we move forward and we'll push a lot onto, okay, well, let's think about what the fans really want. We know what they had, we know what they liked, but now what can we give them that's even better? Right. Nothing. Okay. If you can't now, give anything better than jam mode. Off what you just said, uh, earlier this year it was announced that Ukes would no longer be working on the 2K franchise. Can you guys talk about how that split has affected the development of 2K20, either positively mm. or negatively? I don't think we really need to listen about this too much. About, you know, Ukes leaving. I mean, it kind of sucks, I think. All they really talk about is, like, you know, Ukes... They can do things their own way now, I guess. But, you know, that's a bad thing. Ukes worked on games before 2K. Uh, WWE games before 2K, so... This isn't a positive thing, anyway. Um, and trying to make because to get the we'll just continue the tools and videos aren't able to challenge us. But uh, right now, I just wanna let's go try it. And sometimes we need to be like, oh, we need to reel that back a little bit. Yeah. Like that. So now we're saying they can do crazy stuff. So pretty much the fact that Ukes aren't there, they can do all this 2K originals is what I grasped from this. Um, and to be completely honest, I thought 2K originals was gonna be like like original storylines if you know what I mean like sort of like Road to Wrestlemania sort of thing but it doesn't look like that it looks like it's just spooky stuff honestly I couldn't care less <laughs> alright let's skip through this Uke stuff I don't really care to be honest can you give me some info on kind of what's just going on with the creation suite in general this year alright about the creation uh, suite creation suite like it's one of those things where like like we talked I think about, you said like, about creative finisher coming back as well which is another thing that shouldn't be gone it should be in the game but unraveling like just this beast of a mode and, and making it ours and writing tools just to get it to a state where it was in, in previous years was a huge challenge for us right like that thing like it is probably the deepest you know with, with create an arena from to, to you know create a superstar it's so deep right and so that thing uh <laughs> it took a lot of hard work just to unravel it and 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 put it back together and, and get it to, to function in a way that you guys have, have known to use it right um and so our focus was on just providing you guys with more content right uh so it wasn't really about adding a ton of new features no. uh, it was about making sure that the features that about existed, providing more um, content are, you know are part of like like you saw that's pretty much place in your arena, you know so like pretty much all the crap that they added through like road to glory and stuff you know, it was like, hey, lower air in our head, and we, we saw it come to fruition. We was like, uh, it didn't really hit that mark, right? Mm. Where now. So they're talking about the white compound you know, now. Apparently, it wasn't as good as what they wanted. Um, blaming that on nukes. Good work, 2K. You know, uh, 
humor, right? Like that. Uh, this isn't the stuff I want to talk about. Where <laughs> they completely changed their sets and logos like three weeks. Talking about how um, they changed their sets and logos and everything before the game comes out. And they also say it'd be nice if WWE told them. I agree with that. Be nice if WWE told them so the games could be more updated. You know, <laughs> stuff like that community creations uh, thing. Talking about community creations and how good creators are on community creations. I think we've really covered what I really want to cover already. The trigger pulls slow. The so All right, well, here we go. The river, um, for people Speeding up some animation. I think the most okay. important aspect of any video game is uh, the gameplay itself. So you talking know, about has the gameplay took changed? A, took a pretty big step forward in making the gameplay a bit more fast paced, speeding up some animations, paybacks, etc. Um, are there any significant changes to the core gameplay this year? I mean, I, I think that um, the way I put it is like we've worked on the controls a lot so this the year. And so, so the gameplay is the same. Of what we're trying to do is make the game a little bit more accessible for people that are new to the game, but also keep the depth for everybody else, right? Okay. So people that played a long time want to have a lot of control and they want to do it. Um, so you've heard us talk about, um, you know, our updated control scheme. A lot of what we were doing were things to try and reach that goal. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's some are simple things like we move the reversal button to a different spot. So instead of being on the trigger, it's now on the Y, you know. I kind of dig that. So instead of the reversal button being on the trigger, it's on the Y or the, I don't have a PS4 controller here. Yes, I do. Or the triangle, obviously. So... I kind of like it. Uh, it's new, it's different, but I do also like, because now it's it's not, a, you don't have to time it as much, I don't think. Whereas the trio here is right, it takes longer to go down, but that's the point. So, yeah, well, I, it's something different. Something you're gonna have to get used to, but yeah. It takes a long time to pull from people. So he's talking about the trigger. The, the, the pace and the speed. That... Of course, is the career mode. That's kind of right, my career mode. Butter. Uh, first ever female inclusion, like, like you mentioned. Uh, can you give us some details about what we should expect from that career this so year? So we've already Does seen the My Career trailer, uh, which will actually I think we'll go over actually because in my live stream where I watched the trailer, I didn't realize they actually posted an article. So we'll go and read that after we've done watching this. One year or a number of years is a little more open ended. Uh, you know, can you kind of just sp spill whatever you can for me, if you would? <laughs> uh, it does span multiple years. Um, so My Career uh, spans so yeah, multiple years. Uh, Longer than 2K19? Is the story going to be going to be longer uh, in length than yes. 2K 2K19? Okay. Yeah. Um, it's I think right now what is it, Mark? Like 25 hours? Wow. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Really? Um, where the article yeah, actually uh, says 20 hours, which we'll go and read in a second. That's why I brought that up. The article does say 20, so you know, I guess, I guess it's um subjective, but you know, just to point out, we got a lot more voiceover from superstars, a lot more um, voiceovers like Mark said, we have the female. Um, you know, was, uh, was, was, jo was John Cena available this time? <laughs> what are you talking about? It was John Cena, man. Did you see what I love how they like? try and cover this crap up? Like, I understand you wanted John Cena in career mode, but. Dude, if you couldn't get him, should have replaced it with, like, The Rock or something. I don't know. Just someone else huge, Roman Reigns, you know, instead of trying to be dumb. And, what do you who's John Cena? Obviously, you know, we know it wasn't. Everyone knows it wasn't. But it's not even a funny joke. That was disgusting what they did. I'm Cena. I could, I'm sorry, I could. Um, um, and I will say, like, the performances we uh, we have this year. So, um, the so a lot of this is actually it, positive. A lot more positive than I actually remembered uh, it. When you hear some of these guys, you're like, oh, man. Like, they were really into it. Mm. And it adds to this uh and so yeah i, I love uh and and but it went some cool stuff in there uh it all makes sense at the end and uh it's a, it's a cool journey like i really like what we did with the, the relationship between you know the male and the, and, and the female uh they are best friends there's, there's no romance going thank on thank god so. no romance between the two which is what i feared so that's good uh, all right so the camera just stopped recording because it hit like a max Limit, I guess. Anyway, continue. <laughs> um, we know Chris Danger, but you know? <laughs> Christina Danger, maybe. I, I don't know. One of the hardest things about releasing a game on a yearly schedule is fan fatigue. Uh, Madden goes through it. NBA, FIFA, all these games. I'm a Madden fan, but I've skipped releases before. That's just kind of the way that it is sometimes. Uh, so if you had to make a pitch, to... like it wasn't a true representation. So now we're giving them a. They're meant to say. Um, 
why anyone who's debating whether they get 2K20 or not should buy it. So let's hear what they have to say. This is interesting. Put it on a spot, sort of. I want them to see what we're about, right? Like, um, when we first got the license, um, we always felt like it wasn't a true representation of what Visual Concept stands for, right? Like, Mark um, was the executive producer on MLB. I was the art director on NBA. So that's in our DNA, right? Mm. Like, in when you come from those products and you come from those games um, and those teams, you can't help but have a higher bar, right? Where we're like, we're, you know, we, we just expected more from ourselves um, and from the product. And uh, again, I'm not, you know, dumping on Ukes, but it was just like, they had their way of doing things. THQ had their way of doing things. And we just- Look at the THQ games versus the 2K games. It's got nothing to do with Ukes. We were different, right? And so we never really felt like we could make our mark on the game. We would change things here and there. We would try to add things that were different. Um, but it just, at the end of the day, it never really felt like us, right? Um, and so now that we have a, you know, a, a chance at, at showing what we're all about, like I, I really want people to see what, you know, all the, the hard work, the blood, sweat, and tears that we put into this year's game and this whole entire team uh, has put forth their absolute best Mm -hmm. uh to try to you know get you guys the game that you know we're, we're all proud of um and you know no game is perfect we understand that right but for for us it's about making sure that you guys see what we're all about and what we're building towards in the future um mm -hmm. and this is a glimpse of what you know our vision is for the you know for what this game can evolve uh into in the next you know year two years three years right like we wanted to you know, be the absolute best hands down, you know, there's no, you know, old, you know, N64 games in the conversation. It's just us, right? Um, that, okay. that... So they want to get to that point, but dumping Ukes and doing all this like they think, I don't think that's really going to help them. They just need to work better, obviously, and give the fans what they want, period. Right. We know what 2K Day is right now, and that's NBA, and they've earned that right. Um, and for us, saying like, NBA is the 2K game. Right. But they want WWE to be the 2K, which, yeah. When someone refers to 2K, they're talking about NBA, not WWE. I would so love to see that true. day come where 2K Day doesn't just mean NBA anymore, because obviously you guys know I'm a big fan of the franchise, and as a big wrestling fan, that's other things, you know, and they're there for the people and we in things that we changed purposely because it's a better direction for the game, for us and for the fans. And so, mm -hmm. you know, like a, a, a very simplistic one I'll touch on is like we brought back lobbies for online. Mm. you know like lobbies oh here we go like i said it's not special it's not crazy guys like come on all right um pretty much they just pretty much that's all they go on for the rest of the video just crap like that nothing really i guess what i really want to point out about this video was the i guess lie about how they're saying oh well you know the reason why there was no um not a good build up to the game is because they um it wasn't we didn't have time that's just crap and about how the about how how they didn't bring back gm mode because of you know some silly because they were working on female my career but you know it took them five years to do something that the fans wanted and it wasn't what the fans really really wanted anyway that's what i really want to point out um and yeah anyway i want to go to that article now all right Male and female my players join forces in WWE 2K20 My Career. WWE 2K19's My Career up the ante with a more narrative driven storyline and fully voiced cutscenes featuring WWE superstars. WWE 2K20 takes all of that to the next level with a dual male and female my player storyline, offering much more offering a much longer, intriguing experience. It all starts at the Hall of Fame. WWE 2K20 My Career s tells the story of Red, Red and Trey. Two lifelong best friends who set up to fill their dreams together in WWE. The approximately 20 hour, or as they said 25, experience takes place in the near future on the day Red and Trey's WWE Hall of Fame induction. So it actually starts when they're getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. So it's sort of like a flashback the whole my career, which it works. Um, though reminiscing with WWE superstars and legends and stories, they will tell during the hall of fame speech red and trey flashback to their high school years first matches struggles to work their way up on the indies breaking into nxt and finally their journey to the top of the wwe as they attempt to achieve their hall of fame worthy careers 
my career at a glance. For the first time ever, create both male and female my player and take them through my career playing storyline and matches as each other and occasionally teaming together with the all new mixed mag, mixed tag match feature. All new, not, a, not something that they removed years ago. <laughs> Unlock WWE Legends career specific superstar ties, original characters and unique environments like Hell's Coliseum and a special New Day themed arena. At one point, Red and Trey cross through an interdimensional portal to try and find the Undertaker who hasn't been seen in years, encountering various surprises along the way. My crew is fully voiced again this year, featuring performances from nearly 40 WWE superstars, NXT superstars, and legends in addition to over 15 original voiced roles. Intact with newly voiced superstars such as Ronda Rousey, even New Day, Becky Lynch, Adam Cole, Velveteen Dream, The Iconic, Smoljo, and more. Track Red and Trey's career progress with The List as teenagers Red and Trey write down all the goals they like to someday achieve, which later becomes their roadmap to success. Can you cross all of their final? Can you cross off all their final list items and get inducted into Hall of Fame? Well, it starts there, so yeah. <laughs> At certain points in my career, the decisions you make affect the matches Red and Trey compete in, who they team with and possibly even lead to some alternate outcomes, possibly. So there won't be too many different ones, but there will be some, so that's good, I like that. Different, Explore different choices and see what paths they might lead you down. Podcasts back this year, including Buzz and Cole Show, so that's how Buzz uh, is actually still in it. So, you know, you don't continue the story of Buzz like everyone said, it's actually just that, <laughs> nothing too crazy. Um, by the numbers, 18 chapters... So, 18 chapters again, um, they had that last year, but I guess the chapters are longer. 100 total matches, 2,700 lines of dialogue, 900 lines of new commentary unique to my career matches and cutscenes, over 270 cutscenes, that's pretty good, around 20 hours of total playthrough time, 34 goals on Red and Trace lists, one bionic arm. I don't get that, I think maybe someone breaks their arm or something, Brock might break your arm, he is in there, so I don't know, I don't know if... I don't know, but it's a little bit weird there, but that's it. So that's why I wanted to quickly go over that, because I didn't get to go over it in the stream the other day. But thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, smash the heck out of that like button. I just wanted to make those points about what the 2K devs were saying. So, yeah. Anyway, I love you all. Smash the like button if you enjoyed. Uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, because YouTube don't push out my videos anymore. But thank you so much for watching. Of course, I'll see you guys all later. Saga!